I can never get tired of a delicious Mexican dish. And honestly, I've never personally made this one. Okay, you and said it's Mexican money in the before. Bank. Is this Tex-Mex? Because they're not the same thing. It's pollo asado. Well, when you say it like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm CJ. This is CJ's first cooking show. Right over there is Nate. Right hey. over there is Ethan. Mm -hmm. And it turns out right over there is Andy. What up? Today, I'm excited to share with you another Griddle Nation inspiration. Okay. I shall get okay. to that in just a moment. But today, pollo asado is on the menu. Grab a cup. Okay. When you hear the bell, find something to sip on because we are going to have some fun. Dude, I love getting Griddle Nation inspirations for two it reasons. It happens often. It's happening a whole lot more. Number one, chicks think he's handsome. B has cool car. They come up with all these great ideas and I get to cook them and love them and enjoy them. Easy. Number two, has lots of cash. D has no visible scars. E does not live with parents. They come up with all the ideas and I get <laughs> yeah. to cook them, love them, and, and enjoy it them. And it makes sense that it's the first time you've ever made it on your show. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So today, today, uh, today, today yeah. is. Kiss your mother with that mouth? You've gone mental. Grunelation inspiration is from Aldi Girl USA. Oh, Kayla. Kayla, she's awesome. my girl. Welcome to Griddle Nation, by the way. She is, actually, she's been she's here for a hot crew. minute. She's now Griddle Crew, yeah, boy. which is rad. So first thing we're gonna do is get the into pollo. the pollo, because <laughs> it's loco. I'm gonna be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> We've got drumsticks. This was cool. I had never seen, um, I've, I've seen pollo asado. I've had it before. Oh, I've just, just never seen, seen drumsticks. It. Drumsticks, which oh. is a fun, which is a fun play on that. So for our fruit, we've got to start slicing up some citrus to go in said bag with chicken because a big part of this is marinating. We got to get our marinade going on. And the important part about this is you got to let it sit for a little while. It's got to yeah. have some time to chill. Let all those flavors start incorporating into the bag. So let's just go through the citrus game right here, my man. We've citrus got lip. It's a citrus game. Yeah, it's, it's a good a one. Trinity of citrus. The Trinity of citrus. We've got lemons. We've got limes, and we've got oranges. Now so this. Colorful. It's colorful, and it's just a flavor smorgasbord. That's what I was gonna say. Exactly. That's Spanish. <laughs> what is that? Is Swedish. Is I don't know. Swedish. Wow. Schmergen. Giborgen, Giborgen. A skirty birdie birdie. And then of course we've got to season this with some garlic powder. I've also got some blackstone citrus mojo. Okay, now we're back on track. Now we're back in the game and some blackstone tequila lime seasoning. Uh, also gonna do a little bit of coarse black pepper. Don't need to do salt because our seasoning has plenty of salt in it. And then uh, let's zip this up and put it in the fridge for a little bit. Back to school. <laughs> back to school. I don't know why coming back it felt like a lunch fell in my hand. Coming back to school. Uh, back to school. Back to school. Back to school. So it's been about an a hour. A lunch pail? A lunch pail. When was the last time you held a lunch pail? I, I'm not going to tell you. Oh no. Because I have one in my office. A large collection of hair nets and name tags. So it's been a hot minute guys. Um, we're going to throw our chicken down over here. Now chicken go at least an hour you could go honestly you could go overnight if you want uh yeah chicken can handle the it citrus can handle the citrus if it's beef that you're doing can't go long that citrus is going to start making yeah. your uh i wouldn't go your, overnight your beef all funky and weird and gray and nobody funky wants palmadina exactly nobody mm. wants weird gray beef <laughs> <laughs> weird gray chicken we're all good yeah <laughs> Dude, these are pretty big. It's gonna take a minute. It's on, it's probably gonna take, along with rotations, like 10, it's, 15 minutes maybe. Um, wow, dude. that smells amazing. So whoa, I can't is, tell if it's the juice or the seasoning. It smells awesome. All the aromas. Yeah, all of quite them. Quite fantastic. We're gonna go with the dome because I want to get some convection cooking going on here because of the amount of time it's gonna take. Some immaculate confection. Yep. That's not going to that's not going to affect Thank you, um, necessarily the taste or flavor of anything. It's not going to affect the crispiness. It's just going to help with our time. So mm. we're going to go to Home Depot. Yeah, buy some wallpaper. Maybe get some flooring. Um, oh, dude! Before we ring and bring. Oh, sorry. We should ring in the new crew, oh, bro. Yeah. How could we forget? How could we forget? Well, we could forget quite easily because I forget things all the time. Mm. But we've got a few today. So here we go. Uh, 
Insane Cat Lady in 35. Insane in, in the brain. Insane in the brain. If you're a cat person, you are insane, right? <laughs> like every every cat lady, you're unless it's like tigers and stuff. I don't know. Oh, Andy, maybe it's more insane. Andy, thanks to Carol Baskin of dragging us all out of bed this morning. He, he has a cat. His wife, she's a cat lady. She, she also makes her insane. In the membrane. Exactly. Uh, so we've got. Insane in the we've also got uh, Rob Bob Stone. I didn't know how to Rob, say Bob, that. Bob, Rob Bob, Bob Stone. Bob, Bob, Bob. And then uh, Bob 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 yep. Bob. The DC McLeod. DC born McLeod? In, born in the Highlands of Scotland. Yeah. Can be only one. Here's to the Highlander. Oh, we got called out for not using a Highlander. I know. I saw that. Which we whoever, made a whole movie reference. We just didn't use the clip. Come whoever on. Whoever made that quote or that comment. It's great. You're right. You're right. We'll do better. Here we are. We're the princes of the universe. Now, the key with a thick chicken like this, especially, um, yeah, it's, it's a real beefy piece of chicken. It's a beefy, it's a beefy piece, piece of, of chicken. chicken. I got it. Ooh, I get it. You're going to want to rotate quite a few times. Also, pro move in my opinion, using the lemons mm. and the limes and the oranges to baste the chicken as we're cooking. Toasted fruit juice. Come Bro, on. This looks incredible. Rotate multiple times. The color's gorgeous. Thank you, sir. Is that the, the juice or the sugar in the seasoning? That's definitely the sugar in the mojo. It's got a lot of heat and a decent amount of sugar, so that's where we're getting some of that color from. But dude, Let's have another gander. Mm. Oh, mama, mama mia! Wait, that's, that's a good time. Mama mia! Madre! Mama. <laughs> I, 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 I caramba! caramba. That's it. That'll work. That'll work. Oh man! All right, so this Russia. is doing amazing. Hey, you know what? While we've got this open, um, let's go ahead and throw down some the arrows. Color. Oh no, that's corn. rice. Oh, wait, you know what? Hold on. Fine. I need to actually. I need to clean up some of this over here mm. so we've got we've got some seasonings that have been uh burning over caramelized over, over caramelized that's that is for over caramelizing i get it just kind of around i think we'll just utilize some of the heat and things that are going on around here there we go you know what i mean i'm drawing now boys oh, uh, that's we're, that's, it's still, we're, we got a shift we're stuck in italian is that some sin? that's about it I don't know what the shift would be, but... It's into Spanish, come on. Oh, okay, yeah, obviously. Spanish. I've also got some jalapenos and there some we chilies. Go. We're going to kind of sear these along as well. Are those, those more uh, tingly than hot? <laughs> we, we low-hanging fruit. What? I, I, I don't know. If, it is low-hanging fruit next to the fruit. <laughs> We've also got a special sauce for this little delightful dish it's quite simple and That's special simple special different got sour cream as a base listen up folks i do not like sour cream by its oh cannot stand sour cream by itself but using it as a medium to make a sauce that is what i'm talking That'll about do. So i've got some garlic powder i've also got the mojo 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 the mojo. More mojo. The mojo. What the French call a certain, I don't know what. Dude, that's gonna add a little bit of sweetness with that seasoning, plus some of the heat. And then. And then. And then. And then. No, and then. We're gonna thin it out more with citrus. some more citrus. See, this is like a lot of sweet, savory going on. I'm a big fan of what you're doing here. Thank, I like it when you're a fan. I mean, not. Well, that. no, that was that was stupid. But the rest of it. <laughs> but everything else. Yeah, let's just get those. Waste not, right? Want not. Waste not, want not. Don't worry, fellas. Waste not, want not. A little bit of salt and pepper. Mainly because. It's purdy. It's purdy, and it goes really well. Dude, uh, I want this sauce to be drizzly. I don't. So, because I'm going to be kind of t draping this over my chicken. Draping? Whenever, yeah. Don draping? Exactly. Thank you for your time. That's what I'm talking about. Much better than traditional sour cream by itself. Also, make sure to clean up your mess. <laughs> and you don't want to, you know, as you're flicking this around, you don't want to get it into your eye. Oh, no. Hey, speak. I, I saw it. I saw it. Hey, speaking of eye, hey, CJ, did you know? It was going for the Steve Eye. Anyways, so, uh, I bet you knew that Steve I was in one of Polyphia's new song, Ego Death, but as a thank you Fantastic. for that. Fantastic. Yeah, it's 
phenomenal. Solo was crazy. As a thank you for being in the song, they Polyphia sent the prototype nylon guitar that Ivan has sent over to Tim to approve the concept because Tim huh. has a signature guitar by Ibanez. As one does. And I looked it up. <laughs> I do. I found a picture of it. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to put it on the screen. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. That was it. Steve I, we bow to your greatness. We shall ring it and bring it to thine magic, mastery. Uh, uh, oh, Andy. Dude, you're gonna be on set, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get the game. You got a responsibility. You, you don't think. just give up after three rings. You get out there and you find that door. Now the best part about the combination of all the colors and textures and flavors going on is plating. This is a fun one to just make a it's like mound. Like crafts. If this, you watch it, it all come together. This is totally hanging out with Miss Lippy, making a blue duck. That's fantastic. <laughs> Pile on the chicken, pile on the corn. Well, we can only pile the corn so much. Oh, dude, I ran out of space. Fruit looks awesome, bro. The fruit on here, like bouncing off this white plate, is brilliant. Of course, the the it's just bouncing in it. It's chilies and jalapenos. Dude, and we then, going English now. We gotta go Spanish. Dang, we remember. Let, like we seriously got a problem with our. We dropped the ball. Or our. You can't. Dude, Mixed what is it? Mexican. Yeah, can't mix. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. I thought you were better than that. Uh, dude, and then drizzle that sauce at the very end. Go as aggressive as you want. I like it to just do a little bit because it looks pretty and we can still see everything. And uh, of course, a post dust of the tequila lime seasoning. And that and is add it. some Neil Diamond if you want. Oh, that's right. Cilantro. Cilantro. <laughs> that's exactly you love it or you right. hate it. And in this case, we love it. Also, it looks well, beautiful. I mean, admit it. This looks amazing. It looks wicked. Let's try it. Kayla, I hope I made you proud. Um, basically, it was your recipe, just plating was a little bit different. Uh, you did make a cilantro lime, um, sour cream, and this is a little bit different, but yeah, either way. cilantro and lime. And lime and, and sour, sour cream. cream. <laughs> it's just it's there differently. De it's deconstructed. Uh, guys, I am in love with this. I'm so this excited. burning your face off? Well, just well, like this. Dang. Let's get into it. The Wotown Records? Wow, Speechless Records. That's the best chicken I've ever made in my life. Oh, the best chicken <laughs> records. Yeah, that, there you go, Ethan. Um, I could keep, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? That's what you're gonna do. Let's see Whoa. if I can get. So juicy it still is. Oh, pretty juicy. Oh, there's more. I didn't. I just didn't want to go overboard with it and save it for the rest. No, maybe that's not. Oh, oh no. Okay, this is magic. I bet this would be great, like chicken wing style, if you wanted. Wing style. Mm. That cream, that crema sauce with the cilantro. You have is, to call it crema so you don't have to remember it's sour cream. Yeah. Good move. Basically. Guys, this is wicked. Like you said, load it up, double it up. You can make this for a ton of people. Uh, Griddle Nation inspiration. Let me know, guys. Tag me whenever you guys have a fun recipe that you think I might like. And if I like it, I'll cook it. And you'll be doing me a favor so I don't have to come up with more recipes. <laughs> but leave it in the comments down below. How did I do? Kayla, how did I do? Yes. I hope I did. I think you did hope mucho, I did you proud. mucho bueno. Muy bueno. Oh, it's bad. Ah, it's muy male. Let's leave it in the comments. How's our uh, our accents? Leave All it in the comments them. abajo. Oh. <laughs> oh! That works. Speaking of comments, it's Sejota's favorite comments of the week. No. That's my name. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. If this is your first time to this segment I'm of the sorry. show, I'm not sorry. I'm excited that you stuck I around. I didn't say sorry, I said sorry. 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 Because most people leave by this point. You guys That's are, true. you're one of the few the in the champs. proud. Yep, you're one of the few in the proud. This is where I screenshot comments from you, the mm. viewers, because if you guys write it. We read it. That's right, and we get to enjoy it and share it for the world to be a part of the joy as well. So here we go, starting from the top, in no particular order. This comes from Wallace Wallace 4801 Cheese, we'll go somewhere where there's cheese. Wow, chef. Me. Ouch, <laughs> starting off bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> If I didn't have ADHD before, and then you did like an emoji face. Yeah, the ADD face. Won't deny your talent. Okay. And he gave me some poundage. Nice. Two things, number one, thank you for not denying my talent. Number two, thank you for calling me a chef. I appreciate it. I'm not a chef. No. I'm just a cook. He's a chef, but he's a jerk. But so he's good. Thank you. So here's to uh, Walla Walla Bing Bang. Bing Bang. 
อุอีอุอาอาทิงทิงวอลวอลบิงบิง All right, this is from Octilio Tom. Octilio. Yeah, or Octilio Tom. That's, that's it. what it. That's yeah, it. that's it. Uh, says <laughs> I have to watch your videos with the volume off to escape. With... That was awesome! <laughs> wow! <laughs> just, wow! Uh, did you just come up? It with that? just came to my head. I swear, I did not plan that. You're rude. <laughs> uh. Octio Tom, sorry, dude. You get a muted bell. Yeah. Mm. It hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, oh, this is Billy Madison nine three three nine. Is it the real Billy Madison? It's gotta be. That's nice. Says Blackstone threw up on these guys. <laughs> <laughs> So here, in case you didn't know, he's being sarcastic. We work for Blackstone. It's like people only do things because they get paid. I think he's being with a name like Billy Madison nine three three nine. I think he's joking. All right, here's to Billy. Chalk it up to sarcasm. Okay, Billy. Yes, I will go back to school and achieve victory. To prove to dad that I'm not a fool. All right, this one. It's oh, a comment. Yeah, from, it's a com go. no. It's a comment from my mom. Oh. I made a reference the other day she about. She's always so sweet to you. She is so sweet about my name. The fact that they just picked CJ, which is just two letters, not even a name, yeah. but much less many Cornelius letters that, re Jeffrey. that represent an. That was an accident. I would, I'll. I'll. Hang on. Andy, I got this. Oh, wow. Coming in clutch. The bell did ring, by the way. See how quick? Oh. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> oh, <that hurts. laughs> That's so great. Oh, my tenure was short-lived, but I'm proud of the moves I made. <laughs> <That was awesome. laughs> So, my mom commented <clears throat> on the video that I made this reference to about my name, and she said, The name CJ was your dad's idea. Thanks for nothing, Dad. Also, What's wrong with CJ? Thanks for nothing, yeah, guy. That's his fault. Yep. Um, and then my mom commented again and says, I give you permission to change your name. It won't hurt my feelings. What? It's so insignificant that at 41 years old, you're going to let me change it? Wow, some childhood stuff's coming up, everybody. <laughs> Down in the comments below, if CJ were to change his name, what what would it be? It's still a CJ, but it has to be different. Not Christopher James. I like Cornelius. Here's hold on, Cornelius. It's a good one. Nah, dude. Mom, I love you. You're still my favorite. Oh, Ethan, oh, slightly behind the bell, but you know. Okay, we're wrapping this up. Sorry guys, we've had a little bit too much fun during this segment. Uh, this is from Charlie T4965. Charlie T says, McStupid. <laughs> wow. The McGriddle. He's being funny. Is he? Was his name Charlie Sheen? Yep. Charlie Charlie T. Charlie, Charlie T. Teen. Charlie T. Alright. We'll give it to you. Yeah, it's a freebie. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thank you guys so much for hanging out on this segment of the this show. You point. guys made it here. We Food appreciate that. Comments were wicked. Dude, the food was banging. Thank you, Griddle Nation Inspiration, Aldi Girl USA. Go oh, yeah. check out Go her stuff. Her. It's a lot of fun. Uh, she's very passionate about it. I know what you two are up to, and you're not gonna get away with it. Uh, be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com for this recipe and a whole bunch of other sweet stuff. Also, go to GriddleNation.com uh, if you would like to find the Ring and Bring It uh, shirts and all kinds of cool swag from all the shows. If you want these, you gotta go search. Yeah, you gotta dig. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not on GriddleNation.com. It, it is a secret society. Um, but this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. Keep the volume up. Till next time. Adios. We did it. Adios. Muchachos. Dude, I was going Spanish and you were going silent. Dude, you speak to your mother that way? <laughs> She's in the comment section, you know.
Sweet day.